Hi everyone, thank you for watching my channel. Uh, welcome again, if this is your first time, please remember to like and subscribe. So in this video, I'm gonna go into ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT for a trading strategy. And then I'm gonna go into my trading tra platform and have it um, automated. And then we're going to back test it and see how well it does. So before I begin, I just want to uh, let you know that um, this video is just for educational purposes. Um, this shouldn't be considered as financial advice. You know, trading carries um, a risk and a profit and uh, even some losses. I'm not just going to show you the good side, but also the bad side. So profit and losses um, that are discussed in this video are not indicative of future results, okay? And of, of course, always conduct your own research when making financial decisions. And uh, remember that the financial market can be unpredictable and it, it, it changes every day. Um, so just, just make sure that you understand the risk involved. So I'm gonna go into ChatGPT, which I already have up. And I asked this question here. I asked, uh, please create a simple trading strategy using two moving averages and two isolators for confirmation. So. You just don't want to trade off of just one indicator, but you want to use at least two confirmation to make sure that the trade is going in the direction that you intend it to go. All right. So ChatGPT returned um, this result to me and says, well, here's a simple strategy using two moving averages and two isolators for confirmation. And it combines trend following elements, right? So the indicators are the fast moving averages, the 10 period, and the slow moving average, which is the 20 period moving averages. And also the RSI, the relative strength index 14 period, and the moving average convergence divergence, which is um, uh, commonly known as the MACD. Okay, so uh, let me scroll down some more. So there's our entry rules for long entry and for short entry. So these are just a basic strategy. So if you're new to trading, this is very basic, nothing complex. And so we're going to automate this. So rather than, um, so I don't sit in front of my computer and look at trades and take trades. So I create automated strategy based on specific rules. And when those rules are met, then it takes a trade, okay? So uh, the long entry is 10 period, per, 10 period, EMA crosses above the 20 and then the RSI is above the 50 and the MACD line crosses above the signal line. And then the opposite um, the opposite condition is for short entry. And then we also have exit rules here. So we're going to go ahead and automate this strategy now. Let's go into my trading platform. So let me go to new and strategy builder. It's a new strategy. You click next, and I'm going to call it. Let's give it a name. Let's call it um, let's call it this. Let's remove the spaces. So if I want, I can just add a description here so I know what the strategy is about. So I'm gonna skip that for now, click next. And we always want to have the strategy on bar close. And we can skip this part. And we can skip the inputs variable section. And so here we're gonna add our conditions here. So let's add our first condition. And we're gonna to go to indicators and we're gonna add the EMA. Which EMA? This is the <clears throat> 10 period moving average. Okay, and we're gonna have that plot on the chart when we enable the strategy. And when it crosses over, crosses above the 20 period moving average, here 
Now let's change the color so we can tell the difference. Okay, so when the 10 period moving average cross above the 20, we go long. So that's our first, and we're just going to click here so we can have it plotted on the chart. Okay, and so our second condition is um, the relative strength index. Uh, actually, let me go down to the condition of rules. RSI has to be above 50. So let's add the second condition indicators. Go to RSI, 14 period. And then that has to be above or greater than 50. So for numbers, I go to miscellaneous. And I go to numeric value. And I type in 50. So RSI greater than 50. Take the trade. And let me have this plotted on the chart. Then click OK. That's our second condition. Our third condition is the MACD. Let me go back to the rules. MACD line crosses above the signal line. Okay. Let's add the third condition. Add indicators. MACD. And it has to cross above the signal line. So this is the difference between greater and, and and crossing above. So let's use cross above. Okay. And cross above. Actually, let's specify the MACD. So the MACD right here, because you have your plots, MACD crosses above. Let's go to the indicators. MACD and the signal line is the slow line or the average line. Some call it so the average line. So MACD cross above the signal line, take the trade. And we're going to have this plotted and we're going to have this plotted on the chart. And click OK. All right, so we have all three of our condition. And then when these conditions are true, what do you want it to do? Well, we want it to take a long trade. So we can click Add. And we're going to um, go to Order Management. And we're going to enter a long trade. Click OK. Enter a long, right? And we click next and now we want to add a profit target so let's click on profit target here and since we're trading futures let's click on ticks and for now let's do 12 ticks so because I'm trading in Q all right each tick is worth five dollars all right, so click OK. And now we're going to add a stop limit. OK, a uh, stop loss. And for this, we're going to do a one to one ratio. So let's do 12 ticks as well. Click OK. So we have a profit target of 12 ticks and a stop loss of 12 ticks. So it's one to one. And once we're done, all you need to do is click here, compile. Compile is the same as saving. So once that completed, a box should pop up. Strategy generates successfully and click OK. So what I didn't do from the beginning, I didn't create the chart. I uh, 
so the chart would normally be here first but I create the strategy before I create the chart so the chart I just go to chart and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a chart right here I'm going to use Ninja wrinkle bars. I like using Ninja wrinkle bars because um, it's cleaner. Uh, they show less noise and you can see the trend clearly. And I'm going to keep it at default for now and then uh, keep it here. Click OK. So let me let the chart open up. Okay, so I, let me let me remove the indicators. that I have already on there. Okay, so let me click apply. All right, so all the indicators are removed. So I'm starting from scratch. I'm just having a nice clean chart. So now I'm ready to add the, the strategy. So I right click strategies and a strategy I just created was this one and then click add and I'm just going to go ahead and enable it right now and then click apply and then click OK so here's the strategy plotted you have the 10 period and the 20 period moving average and then you have the RSI and then also the MACD alright so now I'm going to go ahead and now so the strategy is active and you can see some of the trades okay so let's look at the performance let's go to strategy the strategy historical and so here is the net profit 558 and a profit factor of 99 basically it's super super profitable right and a commission is only $41.80 and so this net profit is from December 14th through January 3rd and the total trade it has taken uh, was 10, 10 trades and you can see it's 100% um, 100 profitable. Uh, winning trades, $55. Uh, no losing trade. So remember, this is only long trade. We have not put in the short trades yet. So let's go ahead and add the short trades. So we're going to go back into our strategy. And we're going to click back. And let's duplicate this. Duplicate new tab. Okay, so all we have to do is flip the conditions. So let's go to edit. And so instead of cross above, we're going to put cross below and then click OK. So that's simple, right? And then go to RSI and then click edit. And then instead of greater, we're going to say less and then go to cross above Mike D click edit so instead of cross above cross below and then click OK and then instead of enter long click edit you're going to enter short position click OK. All right. So we have the long condition and we have the short condition. So all we did was just flip the condition. That's it. And then we click compile again. Okay. 
So that strategy, the, re the, the, the revised strategy is uh, saved. And let me minimize this. And so normally what I would do is go to strategy here. I would unenable it and then I would click it again. Okay, so now we just, not only do we have long, long positions, but we also have short positions as well. So if I go to the strategy performance and go to historical, and now you see here, we have um, long and we have short trades. So you see it took a total of 10 long trades and a total of eight trades for a total net profit of $1,000, a commission of $75. Again, a profit factor is as, as high as you can get. You know, anything above 1.50 is, 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 uh, is profit. And you can see here, the average trades is $55.82. Now, if I close this, so of course this, the, the net profit is based on the the number of ticks. If I go back here, it's based on the profit target here. I set any stop loss, right? So let's change the, so this is like a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio. So let's say if I change the number of uh, ticks, right, for profit. So instead of 12, let's do 24. So this is a two to one. So I have a, a risk of one um, and reward of two. So one to um, risk to reward, right? And I click OK, right? And let's compile it again. So each time you make a revision, you always have to compile. So it can be, so the new uh, condition can be reflected. OK, that's done. And let's go to the strategy. Let's uncheck it and let's check it again. And let me minimize this. And you can see all the trades based on the condition. Now let's look at the look at the historical. So you can see here, um, our net profit is 2000. So it's very good. Of, this is between uh, December 14th and January 3rd. And the total winning trade is $115. So this is a very good strategy um, based on the back tests that I'm showing. And of course, um, one thing um, that will make it even better is um, make it even more profitable is if I add a second contract and have a runner to take all, all of these profits here. So for now, this is just a very conservative strategy. It is profitable uh, based on the back test. So um, thank you for watching again. Um, again, please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you on my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.